Hello everybody in this new tutorial of Angular 9 and Chart.js. So today I'll show you how to make line chart using Chart.js framework. So let's begin by creating a new project and inside this new project let's create views folder and helpers maybe. So in the views folder let's create our component. Let's call it dashboard. So let's create ng generate component dashboard. Now let's navigate to the Shard.js site web. And inside we can uh, find installation command. So let's copy it. And here let's move to the root and paste it the command npm install Shard.js save. So here let's navigate to our component dashboard and typescript file let's create a new method called create a line chart for example so this method will be the role of this method will be the creation of a line chart so in the HTML file, let's create a div and inside let's create a canvas and let's define uh, the ID called my chart, defining also the width to 1000 and the height to 400. Now let's move it to the TypeScript file and let's define two new properties called canvas and context type of any now inside the create line chart method let's call this dot canvas it's equal to get document uh, document dot get element by id and here let's um, put my chart ID defined in the HTML and the context will be this dot canvas dot get context and we'll pass 2D like parameter. So here let's define a new uh, variable called chart it's equal to new chart so the chart is in the chart.js um, framework that's why we need to uh, import uh, chart.js so let's add this import as chart from chart.js great so the new chart class it will be it'll take two parameters it will be the context and the structure um, will define the structure of our chart so the type of our chart it will be a line and we need to define also the data structure so we need to define the labels it will be the x axis and the data it will be mm, the, the the data to be to will it will be shown in the x and z uh, axis we need also to define the background color and the border color and to define its fill or not the area of uh, behind the, the line and finally the border width it's equal to two now let's add uh, two new property type of array uh, called labels and data cases for example in which we will define the data to be to will be uh, shown in this uh, line chart so let's say labels is equal to this dot labels and the data it will be this dot data cases no, we need to define some options for our chart, like for example, the title, and it will be displayed, it's equal to true. And the text, so here, 
let's put a first shard for example and here in other options we need to define the tool tips for example the mode it will be index and intersect it will be true so if we have multiple uh, lines in our chart so we show in the tool time intersect between the two lines and the over option so the mode it will be the nearest point to our mouse position and intersect it's equal to true now let's make our method more generic so let's pass in parameters labels and data cases and the chart id so we can put this create line chart method in uh, a helper file so we, we will not do it in this uh, tutorial but we will uh, make it in the next tutorial in which we will um, I will show you how to make the other uh, different type of uh, chart so here in the labels array let's define the uh, the year months and in the data cases let's put some uh, numbers it will be the turnover of our uh, company for example and in the ng on init method let's begin by initializing or call this uh, create line chart now let's move to the app component html and let's delete all the file content and let's um, call our component by its directive it will be ipp dashboard now let's compile and run so here we can display a grid that's contain the x the x axis which will contain the months and here i think we need to define um the color of the background and the background border this is the same and here for the data let's uh, in fact it is a data set in which we will uh, make or put the data cases so here data it's equal to data cases and label it's equal to chart one for example so here the data set it will be the all the lines that we need to uh, show it so let's run and see it in the browser here we have our first line chart so that's awesome and we can see that the chart is responsive so it's uh, it's a nice free framework for uh, visualizing data board uh, dashboard for example um, in which we can uh, define the performance uh, keys indicator keys so here let's um, draw two lines in our chart so in which we need to set uh, an array a list of array in the data cases so let's define two array inside it so JSON format and let's call it chart one and chart two for example the first one the the chart uh, the chart one it will be the turnover and um the chart two for example it will be the fees or charge of our company so let's just call dataset dot chart one and for the second chart line let's call data cases dot chart two and let's see oh yeah we need just to change the values here so let's put the ten percent ten percent of chart one so here we need to put one thousand 200 and 600 and let's refresh 
I think we need to change some color. Yeah, that's great. So here we can use.